Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now let's get right into today's topic, which is regarding Quant, QNT token. Where is Quant going in the immediate short term? What are some next price targets we could be looking at? So let's get right into it. Looking at the price of Quant right now, it is currently trading at $122.58. It's up 5.8% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative. We're also up about 0.7% in Bitcoin and Ethereum comparative over the last 24 hours. If we're looking at the market cap for QNT, it is currently trading at $1.78 billion. And the 24 hour trading volume is currently sitting at $32.8 million. You know, Quant is showing, you know, back to back over and over again, how strong this project really is. And it gets me extremely excited for the future uh, of QNT of this year and obviously into the bull market. So let's waste no more time and get right into the analysis and see what are we looking at and where the price could be going in the immediate short term. As always, just a quick disclaimer for everyone that anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrencies. QNT, 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 you know, things are looking insane for this project. And I've said this over and over again for you guys. You know, we have seen over the last 24 to 48 hours, the USDC mania that was going on, a lot of uh, uncertainty coming in the markets. A lot of people think, oh my God, this is the end of cryptocurrency markets. And it potentially could have been if USDC imploded and that's what a lot of people don't understand if usdc were to get failed and um you know circle did not come out and say hey you know what we're back in about 3.3 billion we could have seen a massive sell-off for the entire market which could have set us back four to five years in the crypto space and obviously that would have been very negative because a lot of new investors eyes would have shifted away a lot of people would have seen you know uh you know cryptocurrency is just not the right thing which is fair to say if that happens then yes it's just not um, you know, as a new investor, I wouldn't even look at it. So those are the factors that we need to keep in mind. And, you know, obviously when that was happening, we were seeing a massive sell off, a lot of uncertainty. Well, we saw QNT hold really, really strong, guys. And this is absolutely insane. We did see a wick all the way to that $105 after the USDC news. But look how fast things turned around. So, you know, let me put that into perspective. Look where we're back. We're back into the blue zone. Why is this blue zone really important? Because this is a massive level of, uh, you know, resistance along with support uh, for the price of uh, QNT. And, uh, you know, we're back in that major level and we need to be there, in my personal opinion, for us to continue this upwards trend. If I bring out the measuring tool for you guys and let's say you picked up some at uh, $105, you are already up 15% since then. So, yeah, you know, QNT is showing us impressive strides and this chart reminds me of you know matic network so obviously not called network anymore a matic you know matic token polygon matic same type of things happening very very identical charts and i do believe you know if we break out of this level of resistance at that 155 dollar mark we are in uh to retest this 0.50 fibonacci retracement level i'm convinced that's the next thing that will happen once we break out of here so qnt if i do bring out the measuring tool for you guys let's say you know 0.50 fib level is at 233 dollar mark we still have quite a bit ways to go to that we have about almost double to go till then. And if I bring out this market cap with only 1.8 billion, now you may be saying 1.8 billion is very, very high. It's a high cap coin, which is totally true. But we've seen in the past, you know, coins going from 500 million to $6 billion in a matter of days. So things can turn around in this market very, very fast. And you know, if we're looking at the exchanges, it's listed on all the major exchanges. So liquidity is not going to be an issue at all. I do believe that QNT is going to pull some massive, massive strides this bull cycle. And a lot of people are going to be, um, you know, shocked as to what it posed. Last bull cycle, it hit. $428 and we almost in a bear market retested almost retested 0.50 Fibonacci retracement level which is literally if I bring out the measuring tool for you guys from the top which is currently only about 46% from all time high so let that sink in you know once we put all these factors into perspective that really shows where QNT really is going and the hype factor on QNT is there a lot of people are accumulating uh this project and a lot of people are saying that it is going to be one of the top performers but that does not mean that you put all your money 
into q and t absolutely not that's the worst thing that anyone can do you know diversification is key let's say you are watching my analysis on q and t uh, and in the past you've done your due diligence you really believe hey you know what q and t is possibly one of the uh, you know projects that is going to deliver some massive gains next bull cycle you know i might as well just pick uh, one or two while these prices are cheap so this is the time where you want to be doing it rather than picking it up when it's closer to its all-time highs always say that and i'll say it again but as we all say that you know we're talking too much positive uh news right now right but obviously we need to keep some factors in mind which is bitcoin we're still in the bearish end of the spectrum for bitcoin and i'll tell you why um if you guys are a regular viewer on my channel you know i am bearish if we're below 22k mark which is the case right now if we go above that great i turn bullish once again so these are some factors i want you guys to keep in mind right now but um you know we need to keep the bitcoin price in mind you know right now we're still in a weekend and on weekends we do tend to see manipulation occur let's see what happens on monday you know we could hear some stock market news come out that can affect the crypto space so a lot of things we need to consider but the bigger picture when we look at the bigger picture in mind that's what we always want to be looking at uh and um you know if you are dollar cost averaging in it doesn't really matter about the price fluctuation if that does matter to you that means you're invested too much that you can afford to lose that's what it does but if you're over the long haul patience is going to be your number one key to follow so right now um you know very very critical times to come for the entire space for uh as the week starts but overall q and t itself is looking quite well i'm going to make a prediction video on q and t smash this like button you can get get to 100 likes and we're going to make a q and t update and i will give my price prediction on where i could personally see qnt going next bull cycle again this is just all speculation educational purposes only only obviously time is going to tell what happens but that is it for today's update love you all see you tomorrow up in crypto zx and peace out